In this short video, we'll look at several different ways to create a texture component. In our first example, we're going to use an already created file. If you take a look at our 3D view, you'll see that we have this fish. It's a really, really basic model. If I go, and go ahead and hide the bitmap, you'll see that it's a pretty simple model. But we want to add a little bit more detail. And by using the original bitmap that we used to create the vectors to model this with, we can go ahead and add that texture. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new layer. And we're going to call this texture. And we're going to make sure that that's selected. And then we'll select our bitmap. And by using the feature here called create a component from a selected or imported bitmap, we can create a 3D component of that bitmap. Nothing has really changed right now because the bitmap is currently sitting on top of the relief that we created. But if we go ahead and drop down our layer manager, we can go ahead and hide the bitmap layer. And you'll see that we now have a relief. And also, if we take a look at our component tree, you'll see that we have a new relief called rainbowtrout.usfws. And that's the name of the bitmap that we'd originally imported in. We can take a look at that, and that looks really nice. And it's being added to that really basic shape that we saw a second ago. So again, I can go up into my component tree, and I can hide and show that bitmap texture. Now, the next thing we want to want to do is trim away all this extra information that we don't need. And luckily for us, we have an outline vector that was created around the completed basic trout model. So if we go ahead and select that, you can just barely see that selected. If I hold down my shift key and grab that relief that we created from the bitmap, we can go ahead and use this feature here as clear the area of select component outside the selected vector. And there we have it. That looks not too bad, but we can make it look even better if we go ahead and just run a couple smoothing passes over top of this texture that we made. So if we go down here and grab our apply smoothing filter to the selected component, we can go ahead and go just about halfway up in our smoothing slider here. That looks really good. We can bake that and we can close this down. And that looks pretty nice. Again, what we can do is if we want to, we can go ahead and hide and show that to see the result of adding that textured component to the top of that really basic trout model that we created. Okay, we have a brand new instance of Aspire open up for this next example. Now, unlike in our previous example where we already had the bitmap imported in and we had used it as reference for our 3D model, in this case, we're actually going to create a texture from a bitmap as it's imported into the software. We don't need the bitmap in our job. We just want the result of converting that into a relief. So let's go up to create a new file. And we're going to create a single sided job width is 32, the height is 12, the thickness is about three quarters of an inch. We're going to zero off our material surface. Our data will be set to the middle, but if we actually go ahead and cut this, we may end up moving this when we go into our material setup. We want a really nice modeling resolution, so we're going to use our very high setting here. And for our material settings, we'll just use Canadian Maple for now, and we can click OK. So we're going to go up here and go to create a component from selected or imported bitmap. Now, because we don't have a bitmap selected, then it's automatically going to open up our file open dialog. And I'm going to choose this moon.tiff file. Now, this is a high resolution grayscale height map of the moon. So I'm going to open this up. And what I'll do, you'll see that in our 2D view, we have this bitmap or this grayscale representation of the relief that was created. If I select that, I can go ahead and just pop that in the center of my job. Now, if I flip over to my 3D view, you'll see that I have that relief already created for me. That looks really good. So really, all I need to do now is just go ahead and select that, scale it up to fit my job space, maybe move it around so I get the best part of the moon that I want in my final job. And then what I may want to do is go ahead and just run a quick smoothing pass over that just to get rid of some of these really sharp high points. To do that, all I need to do is just go into my smoothing component operation here. Maybe just choose right about there on my slider. I like that. It looks really good. So I can bake that in. I can close that down. And that really illustrates how easy it is to use one of those height maps to create a really nice piece of topography or a nice sort of relief texture that I could add on to another component if I wanted to. Using a bitmap to create texture is a great way to add detail to your finished projects.